Welcome back. This is part 2 of Blockchain Mining Theory. In this video, we'll talk about the cryptographic puzzle. So hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a good understanding of the cryptographic puzzle and how it relates to mining and blockchain. Just to get a quick recap, here's where we left off in the last video. We talked about the nonce value in blockchain. If you don't remember that, then I suggest watching this video once more. Now we'll talk a bit more about how this is associated with mining. So let's start off by establishing that a hash value is 64 characters long and it's from a number system called hexadecimal numbers. Here you can see a hash value made by the SHA-256 hash algorithm. And it contains some letters and you're probably wondering how does this number contain letters if it's a number well as a hexadecimal number contains 16 digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 a b c d e f a stands for 10 b stands for 11 c for 12 d for 13 e for 14 and f for 15. unlike the regular decimal number system which contains 10 digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now you can change this hash value to binary, which will be much longer to write since it's only zeros and ones, but the value in essence remains the same. Basically what I mean is that a hash value is just data converted to a number system. Okay, but why is this information important? Because now we can actually illustrate this. Because we know that hashes are numbers which are smaller or bigger than each other. So let's draw a pool of hashes to understand this. This pool will contain all possible hashes. At the bottom, we have the smallest possible hash value and at the top, we have the largest possible one. Now we have all these possibilities to vary the hash in between these limits. So the smallest one will have all zeros because of course zero is the smallest digit. And the more zeros there are in the number at the start, the smaller the number is. And then the largest hash will have all Fs because f is the largest digit in a hexadecimal number. Now the blockchain algorithm or the mining algorithm will generate a target limit for hash values for the miners to accomplish. Let's say that's our target and how it works is that any hash higher than that doesn't count. Now just so you know, there isn't any real reason for this. It's just an obstacle to make things harder and more challenging for miners. And also just to keep in mind, the target is expressed by how many leading zeros it has. And also, you don't have to remember the exact number of the target value, just the number of zeros it has in the start. And this is an important tip because in future videos where we'll actually code a blockchain, you'll need this. Okay, let's move on. Um, as discussed in the previous video, we can't change any parameter of a block other than the nonce without tampering with the blockchain. So how does a miner use this nonce value? A miner basically maps or plots hashes by varying the nonce value through hit and trial. Okay, so let's say we have a nonce of 23 and we map it to its corresponding hash value. But as you can see, the hash is too large and doesn't come under the target. So the miner was not successful. Now the miner will try again and change the nonce to 20. But again, the hash is too large and it doesn't come under the target. Then the miner tries 70. And this comes under the target. Okay, my bad, 15, not 70. So the miner was successful and they get to add their block to the blockchain and get their hefty reward. Now this is basically the job of a miner. They just sit there and change the nonce field all day long and try to generate a hash that is below this target. But this is actually pretty costly to do at a large scale because it requires tons of computational power. And the rewards for successfully mining the block of a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin are huge. Now it's almost impossible to crack this system, which is why crypto and blockchain are considered to be the future. The SHA-256 algorithm 
has never been cracked before. So it's literally just a hidden trial for miners. There's no way to predict what hash a nonce will return, or else miners would just be rolling in reward money right now. So this was what cryptographic puzzle means and it's just a recurring challenge that miners participate in to add their own blocks to the blockchain. Thank you.